In the realm of bodybuilding, few names resonate as powerfully as Arnold Schwarzenegger and Ronnie Coleman. These two iconic figures have left an indelible mark on the sport, each showcasing extraordinary physiques and unparalleled achievements. Schwarzenegger's chiseled aesthetic and charisma captivated audiences, while Coleman's sheer mass and record-breaking eight Mr. Olympia titles made him a force to be reckoned with. As the debate rages on among fitness enthusiasts and fans, it's time to delve into the age-old question. Who is truly the better bodybuilder, Arnold or Ronnie? To truly settle the debate between Arnold Schwarzenegger and Ronnie Coleman, it is crucial to analyze various aspects of their careers, physiques, achievements, and impact on the sport of bodybuilding. From their training philosophies to their contest victories, let's delve deep into the comparison and determine who stands as the ultimate champion in this clash of bodybuilding titans. Physique and Aesthetics When it comes to physique and aesthetics, Schwarzenegger's name immediately springs to mind. His perfectly proportioned physique, sculpted with meticulous attention to detail, earned him the moniker the Austrian Oak. With broad shoulders, a small waist, and a V-taper that left audiences in awe, Schwarzenegger embodied the epitome of a classic bodybuilder. On the other hand, Ronnie Coleman's physique was a testament to sheer mass and size. Coleman's superhuman proportions, colossal muscles, and extraordinary thickness set him apart from the competition. His jaw-dropping quads, tree-trunk-like arms, and an awe-inspiring back development established him as one of the most dominant forces in the history of bodybuilding. While Schwarzenegger showcased a more aesthetically pleasing and symmetrical physique, Coleman's sheer size and muscularity pushed the boundaries of what was previously thought possible. The question of who is better in terms of physique ultimately boils down to personal preferences. If you value symmetry and aesthetics, Schwarzenegger may be your choice. However, if you admire mass and raw power, Coleman's physique is unparalleled. Contest Success Delving deeper into the contest success of Arnold Schwarzenegger and Ronnie Coleman provides a comprehensive understanding of their dominance in the bodybuilding world. Let's examine their achievements, victories, and the level of competition they faced throughout their careers. Arnold Schwarzenegger, often hailed as the golden age of bodybuilding, enjoyed an exceptional run in competitive bodybuilding during the 1970s. His first major victory came in 1970 when he clinched the title of Mr. Olympia at the age of 23, defeating the reigning champion Sergio Oliva. This marked the beginning of Schwarzenegger's reign over the bodybuilding world. From 1970 to 1975, Schwarzenegger secured an incredible five consecutive Mr. Olympia titles. His rivalry with bodybuilding legend Sergio Oliva in the early years and the emergence of the talented Franco Colombo and Lou Ferrigno posed formidable challenges. However, Schwarzenegger's combination of size, aesthetics, and stage presence propelled him to victory year after year. It was his commanding performances on the Olympia stage that solidified his status as one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time. Schwarzenegger's competitive career seemed to come to an end after his fifth Mr. Olympia win in 1975. However, he made a surprising return in 1980, determined to capture an unprecedented sixth title. Despite facing fierce competition from the likes of Chris Dickerson, Frank Zane, and Mike Menser, Schwarzenegger exhibited his unrivaled stage presence and exceptional conditioning to win his final Mr. Olympia crown. This triumph cemented his place in bodybuilding history as a seven-time Mr. Olympia champion. Turning our attention to Ronnie Coleman, his reign over bodybuilding began in the late 1990s. In 1998, Coleman secured his first Mr. Olympia victory, dethroning the reigning champion Dorian Yates. This marked the start of an unprecedented eight-year winning streak that showcased his sheer dominance in the sport. Throughout his reign, Coleman faced formidable opponents such as Flex Wheeler, Kevin Lavrone, and Jay Cutler. But he consistently outshined them all. From 1998 to 2005, Ronnie Coleman left an indelible mark on the Mr. Olympia stage, amassing an unmatched number of victories. His size, density, and conditioning were unparalleled, 
allowing him to display levels of mass and muscularity that were previously unseen. Coleman's eighth and final Mr. Olympia win in 2005 solidified his place as one of the most successful and dominant bodybuilders in the history of the sport. It is worth noting that the eras in which Schwarzenegger and Coleman competed had different levels of competition. Schwarzenegger faced formidable opponents such as Sergio Oliva, Franco Colombo, and Lou Ferrigno, among others. His victories came during a time when bodybuilding was experiencing immense growth and popularity, but the number of competitors was comparably smaller than in Coleman's era. On the other hand, Ronnie Coleman's reign was marked by an influx of talented bodybuilders, including Jay Cutler, Flex Wheeler, Kevin Lavrone, and Dexter Jackson, to name a few. The increased level of competition during Coleman's era adds another layer of significance to his record-breaking eight, Mr. Olympia wins. In terms of sheer numbers, Arnold Schwarzenegger's seven Mr. Olympia victories remain an impressive feat. However, Ronnie Coleman's unprecedented eight-year reign signifies his dominance in an era that saw an explosion of talent and competitiveness. Both Schwarzenegger and Coleman's contest successes solidify their status as legends in bodybuilding. Their achievements, combined with their impact on the sport, make it evident that they were exceptional athletes who pushed the boundaries of what was considered possible in bodybuilding. Whether one attributes greatness to Schwarzenegger's record or Coleman's incredible dominance, it is undeniable that both bodybuilders left an indelible mark on the competitive landscape of the sport. Training Philosophies Understanding the training philosophies of Schwarzenegger and Coleman provides valuable insight into their approaches to building their remarkable physiques. Schwarzenegger was a firm believer in the importance of volume training and the mind-muscle connection. His training routines emphasized high volume, intense workouts, and focusing on the specific muscle groups being trained. Schwarzenegger's dedication to isolation exercises and sculpting each muscle to perfection played a pivotal role in his aesthetic physique. In contrast, Ronnie Coleman's training philosophy centered around one word, intensity. Known for his legendary work ethic, Coleman pushed his body to its limits with heavyweights, often lifting mind-boggling amounts of iron. His training sessions were grueling, characterized by relentless dedication and a focus on compound movements. Coleman's relentless pursuit of strength and hypertrophy forged his immense muscularity and unprecedented mass. Impact and Legacy Beyond their individual achievements, Schwarzenegger and Coleman have both made a profound impact on the sport of bodybuilding. Schwarzenegger's charisma, charm, and crossover success into Hollywood propelled bodybuilding into the mainstream consciousness. His accomplishments opened doors for future generations, helping to elevate bodybuilding's global popularity and acceptance. Ronnie Coleman's legacy, on the other hand, lies in his immense mass and unprecedented domination. His achievements showcase the potential of pushing the boundaries of human muscularity, inspiring a new generation of bodybuilders to aim for greater size and power. Coleman's influence on the sport can be seen in the evolution of bodybuilding, with many modern competitors striving to achieve his level of mass and density. Ultimately, the question of who is better comes down to personal preference. Some may appreciate Schwarzenegger's more aesthetic and balanced physique, while others may admire Coleman's incredible mass and muscularity. Both bodybuilders have their unique strengths and achievements, contributing to the legacy of bodybuilding in their respective eras. It's important to note that bodybuilding is a subjective sport, and opinions may vary based on individual preferences, aesthetics, and criteria for assessment.